Hello, I'm John Thorne from Silver Slow Tuning Centre and we haven't shot any videos for a while because we've only been doing all the TV stuff, the two series we've done, which are coming out on uh, Sporty Stuff TV now. But now that's over, we've done all the filming, this is going on television, we thought we'd go back to some of our little short videos we do here to try and help people in the sport of practical video rifle. Now I haven't really shot properly for the last two years. I've been so busy with work, so busy with range, the new range we're building now, I just haven't had time. Plus running 36 stages and two competitions full time to the year, it just wasn't time for me to shoot. So whilst I competed, I literally picked up the gun, shot, went back again, didn't have time to shoot it. Now we're taking a bit of a hiatus on our competitions here, doing some local competition ones and a big one for the NRA, but that's really it. Which just give me time back to try and concentrate on shooting again. I do actually want to do quite well if I can. So that means training, or in common vernacular, cheating. So I'm going to try and do what I can this year. So I'm going back to my training regime I had a few years ago, and I thought I'd share a few of them to try and help people who do want to practice practice. Now I appreciate I own the range, it's Sunday today, there's no one here, it's empty, that's the time I get to train. So what I'm trying to do is all the courses and stuff I do here is something you can replicate in your own range. Now for me personally, one of my weakest shooting types last year was the 25 to 50 metre target shooting. I just wasn't very accurate. I was quite quick, but too many misses and too many deltas. So I'm concentrating a lot of my initial training on getting down to reminding myself of the muscle memory of shooting at 25 and 50 metres and in between. So the first thing I'm going to do, and in all my training I'll always do a session this, is simply transitional shooting, up and down, shooting micro targets at 25 metres. Now, you're not always going to get a micro target at 25 metres, but it seems to be more common to go on for the UK market, so it seems to make sense to train on how you're going to shoot. A couple of things. First of all, I always train in the clothing I'm going to shoot in. I have one of these, what we call mid layer top, which is quite smooth, which means that the stock won't stick on it. Uh, we same with our t shirts, etc. So as it gets holder, I'll train the t shirt. But for the moment, because it's cold, I'll, I'll, I'll train and I'll shoot in this. That's what I'll train in. I also train what I consider as real life conditions. So I don't, uh, if I have a misfire or a jam or some kind of, or a run out of ammo, I will carry on. As far as I'm concerned, I'll shoot the magazine dry, drop and reload. Okay, so one question once you start shooting, oh, I haven't reloaded my man. Forget it, I'm going to get in that competition. He might as well shoot that corner as well. So that's what I tend to do, I shoot as if it is uh, a competition to carry on. So here, all I'm doing is going up and down the ranges. I've got six here, I've got uh, 12 micro targets, or 15 micro targets, 25 meters. And what I'm shooting is literally transitioning from bay to bay, shooting each bank of targets and reloading and coming back. And then different configurations. The important thing is that the things I'm, I'm doing first of all is I'm doing a static shoot. As it goes off, I'm shooting targets there and then. That's very common in competitions. I'm then transitioning quickly to another small position, sometimes going a short distance as you would do around a barrier, sometimes going a longer distance as you would be running around a course of fire. I'm trying to give some of the replicate, replicate the sort of thing you'll see in a course of fire. And I'll do it over and over again. So I've just up 240 rounds. I don't score it in terms of timing, but what I'm doing is counting how many deltas, how many mics I've got. So that's what I'm looking to do. I want to score alphas and charlies in every shot I make. That's what I'm concentrating on. So what I'll do in every training, I'll do a session of this before I do anything else. So, you can at your own range, obviously if other people shooting it might get a bit dangerous, but if you're there on your own you can put something together, transition team based shooting, and what you're looking to do is transition, shoot, transition, shoot. You're looking for that muscle memory to get onto target, get your sight picture and put rounds down as fast as you can. Hope that's helpful, it's hopefully going to help me anyway, so I'll see you get on. I'll put another one out next time I'm doing more training, I hope it's useful for you. Okay, cheers.